we have a conductor of changing cross section as you see in the picture and you are given some non-zero value of current that flows through this conductor from this end to the other and also the uh, value of the current is given as 10 amperes so we call one end the cross section of the one end of the conductor as A1 this is supposed to be a, a uh, circular area <coughs> and the other end has another cross section A2 which is larger than A1 this is again supposed to be a, a circular area and A1 is given the radius of 1 centimeter as the radius of the circular area and the current density on A1 is given as J1 and the current density on A2 is given as J2 so to remember what the current density is uh, it is just the current flowing through a area, a cross-section area per unit area, okay? If, for example, if you uh, are given the total current that flows through this A1 is AI, 10 amperes the question is what is the current per unit area that flows through this uh, cross-section for example, if you want to know the amount of current that flows through one millimeter square or one centimeter square or whatever you multiply just the current density by this area to find the total current and since the total current for example through this A1 is given as 10 amperes then the current density that flows through A1 is nothing but this 10 amperes divided by the area of this cross section A1 and you can similarly find the Cross, uh, current density that flows through A2, this cross section, it is again just 10 amperes because uh, uh, the, the current is not changing when it flows through this uh, conductor. The only changing is the cross section area. For, of course, the, if the cross section area is changing, then the current density through this cross section area will be changing. So, for example, for this end, the, cur uh, the current density will be, again, the same current value, 10 amperes, divided by A2, the cross-section area of this end. All right. So the question is, for, for first of all, what is J1, the uh, current density that flows through A1? Since A1 is in the shape of a, a circular region, then uh, we have to uh, divide the total current that flows through A1 divided by uh, A1 okay and the second part of the question is what is J2 sorry what is the radius of A2 if you are given that the current density that flows through A2 is only one fourth of the current density that flows through A1 okay so uh, remember we called J1 as the current density that flows through A1 and you are given that J2, the current that flows through A2, is just J1 divided by 4. And if th this is the case, what is the radius of this re uh, circular uh, area of this end of the conductor? So, as I said, when uh, if you want to find J1, like, j what you do is just divide uh, 10 amperes of uh, total current uh, through the cross-section area. And the cross-section area, since it's a, a circle region, is pi r square, and pi times uh, one centimeter square. If you, of course, m have to convert to uh, meter if you are working in the uh, SI unit system, then that will means that will mean uh, J1 is equal to 3.18 times 10, 10 to the four amperes per meter square. Of course, this should be squared. Sorry about the mistake let's put square in here but if you want to uh, find the current density in terms of amperes per centimeter square then you just leave uh, without conversion to meters as one centimeter right one centimeter square so you will have in that case the current density 3.18 amperes per centimeter square 
Okay, so this is J1, and in the second part, uh, you had you are asked to find J2. Sorry, you are asked to find R2, which is the radius of the uh, second cross section area A2, and you are given this relation between the current and J2, and it is 10 divided by pi R2 squared. But you are given that this current density is just one fourth of the current density at A1. So if you equate this value to only one fourth of 3.18 amperes per centimeter square you will get an expression relating the radius of the second circular region or uh, radius of the second cross section area uh, and you can easily solve for R2 by using this uh, equality it's just uh, simple and if you of course do the calculation you will find R2 as 2 centimeters. So, uh, as you see, <coughs> since the area is proportional to the uh, uh, square of the uh, radius, then if you have one only one-fourth of the uh, uh, current density, then that means you will reduce the uh, radius to, uh, or you will increase the radius to t uh, twice. Because when you enlarge the cross-section area, you decrease the current density. Because uh, for the same uh, current that flows through a larger area, that means your current density will be less. Right. 